Oh, Muffin from Mars and Boonhart, all right. Muffin from Mars, a well-known Lucas player. Uh, well you could call him famous or infamous, depending on what you think of the character Lucas. <laughs> That's very fair. Um, but within within SoCal, uh, I think infamous is probably the more likelier term. Yeah, let me make something clear. We try not to badmouth specific characters on the stream, but to be fair, we hate them all equally. It's all in due respect. Of course. We all know Lucas and Ness, for that matter, are obnoxious characters. Lucas more so just because PK Freeze is... PK Freeze is funny. <laughs> it's funny when you're the one commentating and not playing. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> I have a lot of fun watching Ultimate. I do, too. It's very, very silly. Like, I'm not good enough at playing it, but I am. I do enjoy watching a good match. So, yeah, it looks like... We got the PS2 pick. Let's do it. Who's Boonard going to play? I'm not familiar with this player. Payroll, all right. Oh, the king himself. So this this can be, I mean, if if Boonard does a great job recovering, mm -hmm. you know, he should be fine. But that that up special might do him <laughs> less favors. Yeah, I mean, look, it comes, it, K. Roll and, you know, most heavyweights for that matter are usually combo food for characters like Lucas. Uh, but that said, I'm not going to count K. Roll out just yet. As a matter of fact, it would actually be kind of nice. Kind of, not, not that I want to show commentator bias, but it would be kind of neat to see a K. Roll take down a Lucas, especially one of the top Lucas players, you know? But with that said, uh, it could be anyone's game. Neither, although Mars is in the lead, uh, K. Roll's not really getting juggled. He's trying to zone him out. There we go. Yeah, right now, Muffin is doing a really good job just playing the, the waiting game. You saw how earlier he was kind of just standing far away, letting Bunard commit to a projectile option, and then now he's just on top Ooh. of him. Red for air dodge. Yeah, he's Ooh. following him. It's only 15% on Muffin right now. Pros and cons of being a big target. Obviously, K. Rule's good at recovering low, but if you get caught recovering, you're out. Most definitely. And, you know, again, Muffin just keeping a set distance. Whew, that's, there's that combo food I was telling you about. Yeah, but missing the down air after the double up air. Oh. Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> Carol's like, this is my stage. This is my ledge. I'm the king, baby. Oh, well, I wish. That shield looking mighty small right I now. freaking wish, dude. All right, yeah, Boonard's, Boonard's still in this, man. Let's go. Oh, oh, yeah, that is not a situation you want to be in. All right, he he, he got out of it. Yeah, nothing, not uh, crossing up. So Ooh. no grab punish there. No, no, they're both they're both being pretty patient. I'm pretty impressed. Oh, he's he's throwing out down smash. I get it. If it catches, it'll probably KO Lucas at this point. <laughs> but it does leave him it does leave him pretty open. Most definitely. All right, now crown in hand, removing the side special from play. Oh, is he gonna get it? Oh, he just got it. All right. Oh, that might have actually just helped Kevin recover a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, that was a really good call on Gunnard there. Oh, but the down smash. <laughs> oh no, the oh, grab. not quite. Yeah. It's risky for both. Carol's using his weight to his advantage, but he no longer has the crown. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. He's got to be careful because he no longer. That means he can no longer spam the invincibility frames with the crown. Oh, he's got it now. He's got it. He can be as invincible as he wants now. Yeah. <laughs> using that jab, I feel like if he didn't just aggressively use stop there, he could have gone for a back throw KO. But now, instead, because of that decision making, it led to Lunar getting up throwed. Yeah. Now the risky thing is Lucas. At, yeah, Lucas has rage, so there's that combo food again. Although, K. Rule's weight might actually save him a little bit here. He'll, he'll rack up the percentage, no doubt, but I don't know if Lucas will get the kill as easily as we <laughs> think. All right. <laughs> well, you know what? Sometimes you just got to swing. Just one smack, and that's it. All right. And Bernard just down tilting nothing. <laughs> you know, I guess expecting Muffin to Whoa. approach aggressively after losing that stock, but. Dude, Bernard does not care. <laughs> Bernard's like PK phrase. <laughs> Whatever. That was very scary. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, dead. that it, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Oh, that was that was that to me was more humorous than it had any rights of it. Was that a shield poke or was that a? I drop? I I think he dropped his shield for a second. I think he was trying to go for a roll. I'm not sure. What? I I mean, okay, so he killed him with forward smash. Yeah, I think he dropped his shield. No, it was it was a very interesting uh, catch there. Luna did a pretty good job though. I mean, yeah, all I know, I know Muffin personally, so I'm more familiar with his gameplay. But Luna held it. Held his ground very well. I mean, K. Roll is like your, is, yeah, he's as stereotypical as any other heavyweight, right? He can be hard to kill just because he's so heavy and he only needs two hits to KO you. But if you want to rack up on your percentage, rack up your percentage on him. It's usually pretty easy. Oh, we're getting Mega Man. Okay. Well, now we're switching to a completely different character archetype. He's going for much. More, I mean, K. Roll already has some defensive tactics, but between Mega Man and K. Roll, Mega Man's definitely the more defensive character. 
I'm, I'm a little curious as to why. I don't know if he got tired of being comboed, but I think uh, it might... It might work against him here just because Lucas can absorb half of his attacks. Not certain. <laughs> and he's lighter. Most definitely. I mean, Mega Man, pretty heavy in his own right. But I mean, that's, he's, he's a little deceiving, that's true. I definitely agree with the sentiment that the uh, character swap may be because he was just getting comboed a little too much. But now he has no jump. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, well, he, every time he gets hit, he gets rushed once again. As long as he can just, yeah, safely grab onto the ledge at one point, he might be okay. Ooh, that was, that was smart with the Metal Blade. <laughs> the Metal Blade saving his life there. Yeah, man. Hey, man, if your character has a projectile, it's a great get off me, I'm trying to recover tool. Ooh, okay. Now the Leaf Shield not quite doing what he was hoping it would. Yeah, but we're not seeing as... We're not seeing these smell... Woo! Ooh. Yeah, Lucas knows how to get people on ledge, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those lemons... Those lemons are not exactly doing... It's not safe to toss him out versus Lucas because, yeah. as you saw earlier, he just uses Magnet and he heals quite a bit off of him. Yeah, Luc Lucas has two different options, right? He can either... Well, I guess he has multiple options, but with regards to... Oh, there's the Zare combo. With regards to Mega Man's projectiles, he can either choose nice. to absorb them or he can choose to reflect them. Or, I mean, he can choose to challenge them. I think Lucas's projectiles might actually go through a fair share of Mega Man's attacks. Oh, Mega Upper. Oof! Nope, still not it. No, Mega but... Man's working! Oh. Jeez. Oh! Man, this is... Still very scary, even if he's not playing his Kalu. Look, no. he's not he's, letting he's, up with these little strings he's getting. He's looking for an option. Oh, yeah, you got to be careful. Yeah, we already saw earlier that Lucas kept catching him on the ledge. Yeah, it's, to drop down and go for an attack, it's an option, but I think against Lucas, that's not really something you want to go for. But, I mean, ultimately, that's not what did him in. It's just Lucas caught him with a different attack. There we go. We're finally killing with that up smash after landing right in front of him, like whipping that dare. Okay, Me Mega Man. Me yeah, he just needs to rack up that percentage. He's trying to get him with the up air. It's an old classic. Sometimes works, but I don't think Lucas is going to have it. <laughs> yeah, Lucas not quite high enough percent to make it that double jump lethal. Nah, no, he's trying to catch him on the recovery. Yeah, Luna just throwing these spares at the ledge. <laughs> By fair enough times, I'll get him. Oh, oh, oh that was. Woo. Yeah, he's missing yeah. these down airs. He's aiming for the ledge instead of straight for Muffin himself. Oh, oh that, that he's got he's got that slight invincibility, and that saves him every time. Oh, all right, run up ground. No force he's, smash he's, he's trying different options now. He's going for back air. Some, something will work eventually. It's just whether or not Muffin from Mars Ooh. will let himself up. Yeah, that roll was very dangerous, but he made it. All right, oh. Oh, using the, <laughs> the side special there to cover. Yeah, so that's one thing Lucas go. can't absorb is the Metal Blade. He could always reflect it, but I don't, I don't think he's actually going for reflect. I think he's just trying to challenge everything. Oh! Yeah, Muffin. Gunnar tying this up, it's not over yet. Yeah, Muffin with that matchup knowledge, not double jumping earlier, but it didn't really matter anyway. He still got killed for it. All right, I mean, look, it, it Lucas is in the lead, but Gunnar could oh, bring this yeah. back. Well, That was a really good air dodge punish there from Muffin, taking that game. Yeah, you do, you do what you can. Lucas is infamously obnoxious, as we were 